So I went to the first church rummage sale that I've been to in quite a while and uh, got some goodies. So I'll show you what we got. Uh, a couple plate holders which I happen to need for the store. And let's see. And this one I got a book and I'm in it. I'm a published author actually. <laughs> right. Where am I? Right there. Hey, that's me. Uh, yeah, I'm actually a published author. Got it published in it, or got some poetry in there in the 1990s. Uh, when I was 20, it was stuff I'd written when I was a teen. So yeah, anyway, but uh, I had submitted it and got three pieces in there. So if you ever see that book, I'll sign it for you. <laughs> Anyway, I uh, also got a depression glass dish. I don't know if that's block optic or what it is. I forget now. But uh, got that. And got another dish. This one could be uranium glass. I don't know for sure though. But uh, yeah, it could be another depression glass piece anyway. And I got this one here, uh, Jadeite. I believe it's an old one. Um, it's got plenty of wear on the bottom anyway. So, and it's marked with the MCK, which is McKee, I believe. So that's a good piece. Uh, not sure exactly how much, whether it's 50 or 100 or 200, but it's Jadeite, scarce particular item but uh, yeah I don't know exactly how much yet I'll have to check it's got a little stain there I'll rub off with uh, some uh, semi chrome polish we'll take that little rust stain off but uh, we'll see what else we've got here uh, I got a Bakelite handle tray right here uh, looks to be pretty much like new condition but from the 1950s and that handle that ruby red or cherry red handle is Bakelite. A um, little bit different from some of their other oblong trays and such so I picked it up but uh, yeah nice neat piece kind of a mid-century modern thingy and I got a gavel right there it's not made out to anybody so might uh, actually sell or if I become an auctioneer maybe I'll be able to use it and another glass piece this is a piece of pressed glass uh, not a huge seller anymore but uh, when you buy it at a thrift sale for a dollar what do you what do you do you gotta buy it you know it's a it's a hundred and 20 years old maybe older so yeah but uh, anyway piece of probably Canadian press glass I don't know what pattern it is but um, maybe have a couple different buyers of it but uh, not a big big seller for me but and let's see what else we've got a um, depression glass piece here uh, it's got a factory fly in it that almost looks like a crack, but that's factory. It's not actually a crack. It's not, uh, it's just a factory flaw, but, uh, yeah, nice pink piece. Kind of heavy on the depression glass today, or on glass in general. And I had some plates with pumpkin head on it, and I saw this, so I figured, well, we can buy it and put it with that. It was a quarter, so not too much. And we've got some souvenir spoons, and I didn't look at them close, but I was hoping there was maybe a sterling one in there, but let's see if there is. Uh, no. Oh, we got one sterling spoon. Maybe two here. Hang on. There we got. Got one. It says sterling. It'll be nickel plated probably. Or chrome plated but it is sterling these little guys tend to be sterling a lot of the time uh, that's not doesn't look that old but 
but it is sterling. And I thought that one was, but it's made in Holland and not sterling. So for a dollar, I got some scrap sterling. Anything else? No. Okay. Just run the mail. Then I got a board game called Collision. I just like the graphics on it. I can't find it online anywhere. I, I looked a little bit while I was waiting for a garage sale to open and at the garage sale I didn't get anything anyway but uh, I was doing research while waiting. But this board game was, uh, was uh, again I think it was a dollar so 1963 I think it is something like that. So yeah kind of a cool cool graphics on it. And we got another board game called Red Rover. Not the best to shape though, but uh, here's an older one. I just grabbed it. And again, from the 60s, I think this one is dated 63. Red Rover. And then we got Fantasyland. Walt Disney's Fantasyland game. So that's kind of a cool one. Uh, only worth probably $25, $30 or so, but for a dollar, can't beat that. And this is a good game normally, but I uh, haven't seen any sold comps. Some available online, but no sold comps. Um, there's, they seem to be 50, 75, 80, 100, but I don't think they're selling for that. And this one's not in the best of condition anyway, but it was a dollar, so... Oh my goodness, I couldn't just leave it there. So I bought it. Rescued it. And then... Remember Instamatic Photos? Well, I got a bunch of albums for Instamatic Photos. I got a whole stack of them. I got uh, seven of them. Instamatic size photo album. And from the 70s, very obviously from the 70s. Look at those colors. And they're dated 73 right there in uh, right there in Roman numerals so 73 and like I said I, they're all made by Mego which is a uh, company that's known for making action figures as well or so yeah and let's see what else have we got getting trolled by a train Anyway, I also picked this up, this piece at a thrift shop on, uh, while I was waiting for the rummage sale to open. Um, for five bucks, it's Royal Worcester. Royal Worcestershire? Worcester? Royal Worcester, I believe is the way you pronounce that. And it's Stafford pattern. And it turns out, this one, they're made in the 1930s. And the only comps I could find was an unsold one or for sale one uh, for 200 US. So I don't know if that's realistic or not. Um, and it could have been slightly different, I'm not sure. This could be an underplate for a gravy boat or something like that, but it is dished, but not sure. But for $5, figured I'd take a chance on it. And then, Back to the thrift sale purchases, or the rubber sale purchases. I uh, got a, a Quebec folk art lamp right there. And uh, it's actually, the stand is a grandfather clock. I don't know if you can see that in the dark there. I'm not sure why it's all dark. Anyway, but uh, yeah, uh, I think it's missing, missing a piece or something. So who knows, but it was $2. And yeah, I couldn't leave it there again. And then I got a blow mold, an angel blow mold. So yeah, I uh, picked it up the second time around. I didn't even see it the first time around. Um, that goes the same with the jadeite piece. Uh, luckily, they opened a half hour early and I was the third one in. So I, yeah, that's probably why I did so well. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, the jadeite piece, by that time, there was at least a dozen people milling around. But uh, I ended up picking up both the jadeite and this piece. And the piece of the depression glass after, after kind of my second look around. 
anyway that's what i got so i hope you enjoyed the video guys thanks for watching please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing picking thrifting scrapping etc take care folks